Okay, now I can hear you already saying, but that's just the pattern made with cardboard. And yeah, it is, it's just cardboard. I took a paper pattern and I traced it onto cardboard and then I cut it out. Now, the reason you might want to use a cardboard or chipboard template, I say chipboard because this is, I think this was a cake mix or a brownie mix box, which is perfect for this kind of thing, is the, the pattern's a little bit more sturdy um, and it allows you to work a little bit faster. Now, when I say a little bit faster, I mean by tracing. Now, uh, there are places like Benzi that have uh, a couple of different options for how you can trace and what you can trace, well, what, what you can trace with. In addition to that, they've got like the freezer paper that you can do it that way. Um, I don't like using the freezer paper because I don't want to mess up my scissors. Um, I, it, I just don't. <laughs> so the method that I use may be a little different to what you might be used to. So you can see I've got a ballpoint pen. In fact, this is a Stetler ballpoint pen. It came in a pack of, I think, 10 pens. So I get all, got a lot of colors with them. I used these prior to sewing. I've been using these for probably 20 years. Uh, not this particular pen. Um, but you can see because it has, because it's a, it, it's a brown pen, I can use it with these, uh, these pieces of felt pretty easily. Um, and it makes things, if when used in conjunction with these uh, cardboard templates, makes them go a little, makes it go a little bit quicker if I'm making five, six, seven pieces at a time. So one of the things that I, I, I do is make sure that I've got the color um, already ready to go because there's, you, you don't want to use blue or black or something that you aren't going to be able to kind of hide a little bit if you need to. So um, I've got this on standby and ready to go. Now, you're going to need to do a little figuring out of where things are going to need to go. And when you're looking at these pieces, you can see, you know, this is body or torso, legs, um, the tummy. There are two pieces to the face, um, which I will explain more in the video in which I embroider a face. Um, so you need to figure out what's going to be what color. If you're only using one color, great. Just trace them all out of the same color. But there's a little bit of a trick here and there for it, and I'm going to show you what those are in the next segment. 